Releasing today, the first day of Black History Month, is John Jennings' Ghostlight comic for Marvel. It's inspired by the character Dr. Alvin B. Harper that appeared in Silver Surfer No. 5 in 1969. Dr. Harper was created by Stan Lee and Sal Bushima. He befriends the Silver Surfer, whose otherness as a strange alien being on Earth appealed to black readers, says Jennings. You know, you talk to a lot of black men, they really like the Silver Surfer, you know. And I think characters like the Hulk or Beast or like Nightcrawler also get that, you know, as far as like the projection of a type of blackness onto their bodies, you know, because they are othered in a particular way, very visually, you know, or, or, or they're outcasts of society, you know, that kind of thing. In that 1969 comic, Dr. Harper ends up sacrificing himself to save the world, and the Silver Surfer pays tribute to him with a cosmic flame. I was going through this, and I asked Marvel, I was like, well, why can't we bring this guy back? And so they they said yes. And so I concocted this wild story about uh, Dr. Albie Harper, and I brought him back as a Black superhero, uh, as a superhero called Ghostlight. Jennings will be coming to San Diego for Black Comics Day to participate in a panel called Get Shooked, the New Masters of Horror. Black Comics Day takes place February 11th and 12th at the World Beat Cultural Center in Balboa Park. Founded by Keith and Jones back in 2018, the free convention celebrates Black comics creators like himself. And happening next week, San Diego State University's new Center for Comic Studies is hosting a lecture by professor and Eisner Award-winning author Kiana Whitted called Captions and Corpses, How to Read an EC Comic. And I'm going to be talking about a chapter from the book on that company and how they used elements of the comic's form, the actual text and the captions and the dialogue uh, to relay I'm not going to say substantive messages, but because they were known for severed heads and aliens and all of that, but to relay uh, some social and political messaging about racism and anti-Semitism and a lot of other things that were sort of raging around the country in the 50s. And finally, I have a specially curated list on my Cinema Junkie blog for a century of Black cinema that you can enjoy over the next 28 days. I start with the silent gems of pioneering Black filmmaker Oscar Micheaux, then take you through the birth of Black exploitation and into a new millennium of Black superheroes and bold voices. Get out. So check back for my coverage of Black culture coming up this month. Get out! Yo! Yeah. Thanks for watching. I'm Beth Accomando, KPBS arts and culture reporter, and I cover the arts in San Diego. So please subscribe to our channel and check out the playlist. And thanks.